During World War II, uh, of course, the Army policy became from a 1925 war college study said that we didn't have the mentality and the moral ability to do anything in the technical area. We could do service things, you know, dig ditches, cook food, drive trucks, but fly an airplane, no. Because of the need, the growth, and the, given the opportunity, we dispelled those biases and generalizations that made that possible. But, but segregation existed at the time, and although we qualified with good training to perform in, in the aviation field, uh, the Army still maintained it as a segregated operation. Many of the groups did not know that the then Red Tails P-51s were black pilots. But our job there was to help save American lives, therefore stick with the bombers and only leave them if they were attacked or tent by German folk wolf or Mr. Schmidt aircraft on the escort missions. Fortunately, great training and ability to believe in the instruments. I'm still here. You know, you're a speck in the sky and later grow and hopefully you recognize whether it's friendly or foe. But fortunately, in the uh, fighter aircraft, we could change our altitude, fly above, out to the side or below, whatever we best fit the circumstance and uh, had to follow the lead bomber. And on the bomb run, there was no deviation, even though the flak blanket from ground fire might be heavy. Um, therefore, we fighter pilots could still do our job, but change our altitude, move around a lot more than the, than the bomber aircraft. Many didn't realize that we were black pilots, but realized that given the opportunity and the training and preparation, we did a good job for them that helped save American lives.